It's not hard to admire the excellence of Erling Haaland's performances this season. Just in the Premier League alone, he scored 36 goals. He's already broken many records and has established himself as one of the greatest strikers of this generation. And he's only 22 years old. We've seen the greatness of Erling Haaland this season, but how did he score so many goals? And what sets him apart from the other strikers? Erling Haaland was born in 2000 in Leeds, England. Yes, Haaland could have played for the England national team. After ending his career, Erling's father, Alfinge Haaland, decided to move with his family to his hometown of Brynn in Norway. At the age of six, Haaland began training in Brynn. However, until he was 10, he wasn't just playing football. At the time, Erling played handball and trained in athletics. Now it's clear where the forward learned how to sprint like that, but at some point, he chose to pursue football, and the right choice it was, especially since his father, an extremely experienced football player, would train him personally. Show my, my strengths, uh, I can see in Erling. Thanks, sir. So I do son, to Alfinger Holland. What do you score? The two mål. Hvem er det som lærte deg å score mål? For far den kunne det ikke. Jeg aner ikke. Experts say that Haaland stood out since his very childhood, but the football club of Brynn has a completely different philosophy. For a long time, Erling trained in a group of 40 children, and all of them were at different skill levels, but the coaches still did not make them play separately. There was even one girl in the group with Haaland. In the big academies, it's all about talent. We decided to take a different approach. In this group of 40 people, some were very good and some were not. But everyone trained together. That's how Bernson describes it. According to the coach, Haaland's talent was visible from the first minute. I saw Erling for the first time when he joined us in training. The first two of his actions led to goals. Haaland said in an interview, If it wasn't for Brian, I wouldn't have made it anywhere. The club system helped me not to think I was anything special, so I kept training hard. Now the height of Erling Haaland is about 195 centimeters. Uh, 195.2 oh centimeters. Oh my god, they're growing. Almost one centimeter. <laughs> <laughs> but he was not always such a tall forward. At some point, the coach was even worried that the guy would not grow up. At the age of 14 to 15, Erling was literally one of the shortest on the team. In this photo, Haaland is standing next to his teammate, Todd Salte. Both are 14 years old. Due to his small stature, Erling focused on sprint and finding the position. In order to be a good striker, he had to think a lot. He could not rely on physical advantage. But then he scared everybody with his rapid growth. In a short period of time, the guy grew by 20 centimeters. Because of this, Haaland had to train very carefully so he wouldn't get injured at such a young age. If Erling had grown more evenly, there would have been no need to limit the training. But to his disappointment, while everyone else was doing ball exercises for 15 minutes, he had to do it for five and wait for the others. In the season of 2015-16, playing for Brin 2, Haaland scored 18 goals in 14 matches and earned a place in the first team. That's when he was invited to the national team, where he showed fantastic performance. For example, a goal from the center of the field. In 2017, when Erling moved back to Molde, his main issue was his light weight. At that time, the head coach was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He saw the talent of the guy and decided to help him. He made Haaland eat three meals for dinner, helping him gain about 10 to 12 kilograms and then the coach brought him to the gym. Yes, he gained a lot of weight, but it's all muscle and confidence. It was very important for the boy to get physically stronger, Solskjaer says in an interview. All this combined with Haaland's talent led to results. In the Under-20 World Cup as part of the Norwegian national team, he destroyed Honduras in the group stage with a score of 12-0, of which Erling scored nine goals himself. Next, transfer to Salzburg. The forward took the field in his first Champions League match and scored a hat-trick. Haaland became the first player in history to score six goals in the first three games of the Champions League. Not surprisingly, the scouts of all the top clubs watched him. Erling then gets transferred to Borussia Dortmund. In his first full season, he scored 41 goals in 41 games. It's not surprising that Manchester City wanted to sign him. In 2022, Haaland breaks into the EPL and in his first season, breaks many records. After 35 matches, he scored 36 goals in the EPL, but in all 51 matches, he scored 52 goals. So, how does he do it? How does Haaland score so many goals? The most important factor is his physique. 
Haaland is 6 feet 5 inches, or 195 centimeters tall, making him one of the tallest football players in the world. But apart from that, if you remember what I told you earlier, Erling worked very hard at the beginning of his career on dribbling and finding the right position when his team is attacking. He's not used to play as a tall and heavy center forward, whose main advantage over the opponent is that he scores with his head. Erling has a very athletic physique. He weighs almost 200 pounds or about 90 kilograms, which in itself is very difficult for a football player. But since he is still incredibly thin and athletic, this combination of physical qualities also makes him much stronger than most football players. He is agile and can change direction and speed, which confuses the defenders. And last but not least is his crazy balance and acrobatic abilities. Haaland is already a role model of fitness, but because of his balance, it's much harder to knock him off his feet without any obvious fouls. He can turn his body in the air to come into contact with the ball at the most incredible angle. He also has a powerful shot with both legs, and he's able to shoot very hard even from difficult positions. Well, Haaland is amazing at predicting where the ball will end up, where it should be located, and when you need to make reasonable runs to take an optimal position. His smart choice of position allows him to make the most of his physical and technical abilities, while at the same time saving as much energy as possible. And of course, it is necessary to note the skill of Haaland's teammates. De Bruyne in a crossing position. Haaland scores! De Bruyne to Haaland, it's becoming a cliche. I'm talking about top-notch assists and passes by Kevin De Bruyne. The Belgian midfielder has a remarkable ability to find gaps in the defense of the opponent. Other players such as Mares and Rodri, Bernardo Silva, Phil Foden and even the legendary Jackie G himself also played an important role in Haaland's goals and assists. So, Erling Haaland scores all these many goals thanks to a combination of factors. His team is so well constructed that he can constantly score goals, and his unique set of skills and physical parameters allows him to dominate any match. If you liked the video, leave a like and check out my video about how Drogba and Balak almost killed the referee. And how Real Madrid scored two goals in the offside and passed to the semi-finals of the Champions League, and how the referee can hit the player and then show him a red card.